Yeah. What's going on, guys? Today we're going to Chitagong. Uh, guys, we are literally filling gas into our car. Okay. My guy literally poured H2O into the car. We are now entering Megna Bridge. So guys, we're having food now at this epic spot. What is up guys? We have now stopped again. Amu, what is this place called? Sita Kundo. We're now at Sita Kundo. Chotogram. Chot Chotogram. We are filling our car with compressed natural gas. CNG. Why? I think the car is about to explode. <laughs> oh God, it's making a sound. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so the ground starts. The ground starts on the other side where you see those uh, big plants, whatever they are, that barn. Behind those, there is a train going behind. No, it's just the engine. Okay, so we start from there. Three persons start together, and then we run. The first one is a crawling. So there is a net, and we have to crawl be uh, below that. And then the next one is number two. Is this bar? Actually, I think I made a mistake. The, the crawling is not the number one. The number one is a balancing beam. Balancing beam. There, are, there is a long beam. Yes. And then we have to walk on that. And at most, I think, if we give more than two steps, we tend to slip. Yeah? So there is a point. We have to go balance and jump. Next point is number two. This is a double ditch, number three. Now, don't try this now. It could be number three, and uh, you, you we have socks. We had history that people got injured here because they were too fast. They couldn't control. They hit this edge, even on a sack, and they had to be sent to the hospital. But anyway, so number three, this is a five feet wall. Sorry, number four. Six feet. 
Yeah, it's a six foot wall. You see, it has become down, you know? And let me show you why. Let me see. So my height is five feet eight. Okay, it's, it's nearly my height. So that's why it's not six feet anymore. So after this... Oh, shoot. Hello, hello. Microphone testing. Can I touch you? Okay. Can I after this <coughs> wall, I think we had this those bar where we had uh, Tarzan swing. So we go up and then go go Tarzan swing next. Todd, do you see those two uh, beams? There used to be a rope in between. So one has to climb up the rope, you know, go across with the rope swing and then come down. Next, I forgot what the name was. I'll have to remember. There used to be a net that goes up and then down. After that, this is a nine feet wall. Point is, you cannot yourself just run and climb a nine feet wall. So the first person who is good and fast, he goes, runs up, he grabs this, the second person push butt or uses his shoulder and then he pulls up the other. Okay, so this continues, there are other things and uh, other bars. You see those? See this one? Mm -hmm. Number 13, for example, you take like a stair, you go up, and this cross there is a, but it's like a seesaw. Oh, yeah. That? Yeah. There used to be a plank on top, mm -hmm. like a seesaw. So you go up, and then when it goes down, so one at a time, people can cross. So there's a timing thing that is important. So, how many seconds it takes is important. Faster we come, we actually add all the points and then every average, and then the, the house that just makes the lowest score wins. So it's a very competitive team, team uh, competition. So we go for this one, and then there used to be this one, there are three uh, metallic poles. What happens is, there are four ropes coming down from the top of those four. And then there is one plank. So you have to take at most one step and there is a distance. With a good speed, you have to jump one, max two, and then you have to clear up. Otherwise you'll sleep, definitely. Mm. And then you see, you might have seen that proud to be podium, that wall. You have seen, uh, you know, climbing, mountain kind of thing in other places. But it's similar kind of concept. You go up, you see number 16 there, it's called zigzag. So zigzag, you run zigzag, it's uh, your ability to orient and jump. So you run on top, jump, run, jump. So it te tests all the physical factors in any sports area that one can imagine. So this is, uh, this is the, unfortunately we don't have a clear obstacle course ground, but that's, that's it. I hope to bring you next time when the ground is nice and clear and maybe with a good demonstration. I'm not feeding goats. It's a squirrel up in the tree. Yeah, it's a squirrel. Okay? Yeah. Wow, it's a squirrel. Huh? Wow, three meter diving mower. This was over the gear, wasn't it? So this is the swing pool of Frozen Heart Credit College <laughs> and this was not used during the pandemic so it remained very dirty unused and turned out to be dirty so now it is hoped that it will be used again and cleaning is underway you can see what the suction pump is running that's the audience section in the two sides 
can jump from the top and in fact we can go up there and there is another audience section up there and when we have musical instruments set up we usually set those up there so here is the college dining hall named after the first principal Colonel Brown so that's why it's named as Colonel Brown Hall and then what you see when you come in right and left there are two washrooms for washing your hands, freshen up, if you're coming from the class, etc. etc. And then we have the college anthem, national anthem, and the room, what is Rolo Sungit is the war music. So that's what we have here. All of this. And then we have a little bit of history about the first principle. So that you can see here. And these, these are some gifts from the 55th batch, uh, no, 35th batch. So they were three, three years older to us. So when we were cadets, we didn't have this initially. And yeah. later on, in our class 9, when they gave this first, then onward they were set in hand. Now, welcome in. Now, today, when you come in, you will find a condition dining hall. That, that's not what we used to have. And at right hand, that's where the college prefect sits with uh, the duty master and other house prefects. The other end, this is where, where I used to be because I used to be the college dining hall prefect. You can take this off seriously. You see some guns there. Those are not the ancient decorated guns you can see. Once upon a time in the world they had some function, they don't have anymore. This is where the college dining hall prefect sits in the middle. This used to be my seat, somewhere here. And then we had all the other, uh, how, like, junior house, uh, estate house prefect, house games prefect, house cultural prefect. So they four multiply by four, 16 plus one, 17 chairs are supposed to be here. Rest of the positions sit in the first high table. How many do you buy? Sorry? 17 huh? here. No, there's 13. 13. But they're supposed to be. That doesn't add up. I don't know what they have changed, but that's how in my head. Oh, no, 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 I made a mistake. I made a mistake, it's three, because the house prefect is there. So it's the ah. Aston house prefect, uh, house game. So it's three, it's three multiplied by four. So uh, four houses, three from each, 12, and the college dining hall prefect, 13. So you counted right now, thank you for the cross check. 13 here, and the rest are there. So there we have the college prefect. Uh, four house prefects. We have the college games prefect and college culture prefect. Perfect. I was a prefect. I was the college dining hall prefect. So I was responsible for mapping who will sit in the different tables. I was responsible for making sure the food routine is coming well. Oversee with the mess officer in charge and those who distribute food. So at least I spent a bit more time in the dining hall compared to other cadets. So I had the right to come in, taste some food and confirm the quality. I have never been, you know, a tester kind, but at least I considered people's comments and feedback. So that's what I used to do. During every meal, we have someone called College Duty Cadet. So his responsibility is to blow whistle during the time of morning um, physical exercise, at the beginning of the class, at the end of the class, when people come for lunch, when we are supposed to go for games. And he is also responsible for reporting in the parade duty. That cadet has one role, what he does, 
he marches through this way and then the person sitting here as the beauty master so we have a beauty master who sits and then the college prefect sits beside him and he takes permission for starting the food and during the beginning of the food there is a complete silence there will be a ring it's from a ship no? there will be this bell rung and then there will be uh, the, the college prefect here in Fozdar Hat in the case of Fozdar Hat College the college prefect says Karets Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and then everybody says loud Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and then we start the food and at the end we close in the same way there's a bell rung and then the meal closes and the high table people leave and one the high table people leaves rest of the college leaves the dining room so there is a sequence of how people come in and go out so this is the office of the mess oic and the butler they coordinate well and this is where all the distribution happens you know there is a very big rough time remember there are more hundred more than 300 cadets then we have officials so for them when we distribute food not many actually there are usually one or at most two officials who are there now there is a big change in this room i can mark now there is tiles it's been quite some years now but i'm saying during my time we didn't have this nice tiles পড়া ভাবে এটাতে বানা এই ছড়াকলা পড়া বাইরে তুমি আজকে আপনাদের খাওয়া ইমেজিন দ্য স্পিড ইমেজিন দে हैव টু বি ওয়ার্ম এখানে সাপ্লাই আছে নো ভাই নো ভাই এখানে সাপ্লাই আছে এখানে তো সব এখানে আমি এখানে গুড়ো করি গুড়ো করি ওখানে থেকে এখানে এখানে কাটা বানা অংশ বাহ ওখানে জব হবে এটা কিন্তু আজকে না জিনিয়া এটা কিন্তু মানে গরু সপ্তাহে পাঁচ দিন ধরে চলতে সপ্তাহে সপ্তাহে পাঁচ দিন পাঁচ মিল দাও হয় ওকে তো একটা গরু কাটলে পাঁচ মিল কভার হয় না না সপ্তাহে একটা গরু লাগে সপ্তাহে একটা লাগে বড় গরু নিয়ে এসে এই এক্স্যাক্ট স্ট্রাকচার এই ফরমেশনটা আগে খালি ডিফারেন্স হচ্ছে এখন এগুলো অনেক সুন্দর স্ট্রাকচার আছে টিল হিয়ার সো যখন সাপ্লাই ওয়েন ওয়েন সাপ্লাই কামস নুহান when supply comes we actually get uh, transport coming in they bring in supply in this side and then we receive so all the fish they receive supply, supply. supply. Mm -hmm. basically there are quite a lot of things here a lot of furniture possibly needs work but the thing is during our time it used to be much clearer maybe something going on the moral of the story is this is a wood workshop area so we have three blocks one is technical uh, engineering design so we can design you know with the all the standard tools and equipment and then we have wood workshop we can do all kind of uh, furniture design and then we have a metal workshop so you know cutting metal to doing things hey, thank you thank you our char uh, materials now usually we don't have this leather we have never had this leather yes we used to take the yes. Area, see that? This was the only pleasure area that we had for our freedom of mind, you know. It's a very, very restricted area. So when we could dodge the guards, we would climb up this path from here or that corner. And then we go up the technical design block. And you see these big trees there? Mm -hmm. Those among us who, who like to smoke. they smoke and the others who like to just sing and dance we just go up there and do that late at night you see these this plant right here if you touch it it dies so if i touch this it literally dies and there's like so many of them here এটা কি 
sekolah kalau So, Bhai is going to touch. Um, he's going to give banana to turtle. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, feisty, feisty! Oh, oh! He eats the cola. Now, so guys, now I we hate you guys. Go away. So now we are going to go have some lunch. What is up, guys? I am here in Chittagong Boat Club. Here is Sadi Uncle and Abu. We're so dark. No, we're not dark. It's dark, so you can't see us. But yeah, we're we we were we're outside walking. Uh, there's currently a helicopter over us. Um, but this place is quite nice. So in a little bit, we're gonna go inside and have some food. Mommy is uh, shooting Facebook Live, bro, what? So we have a nice view out to the Bay of Bengal. You can't see anything because it is dark. <laughs> What is up guys? We have stopped at Shat Ganya Bajar. There is a dude over there. He my tripod right. We took it and put the Nintendo on it. And now we mount mounted it to this front seat. Now Nubai is playing Nintendo Switch on this. More comfortably. Wait, we can play together now. Yeah. So dudes, here we go. Coconut and uh, Nintendo Switch. Uh, yeah, living the life. Let's have a taste test of this coconut. Wow. Really living a dream. Playing Nintendo Switch in a car while... So tasty. They Abu. cracked the coconut open. Abu. And now Amu is going to snack on that with a... With the, another part of the coconut. I can't. It's quite interesting about Bangladesh's geographical location. Why are you talking like that? Is that 
You see, right now in Europe, there's forest fires, and Australia is literally burning down during the winter. Stop being so dark. Um, yeah, but that doesn't happen here. It's very hot here, but it's humid. Since, since the air is so juicy and, and humid, humid. no fire can basically start. Even if I hold a lighter when it's 50 degrees Celsius out here, nothing will happen. So what is up guys? We are here driving to Ramu Cantonment. So guys, we have entered Ramu Cantonment. And uh, yes. Among us. So guys, this is the toilet seat area. Look, I've been playing Mario Odyssey for so long that the straps even made like an indent here.